Let's go down here and grab a quick bite to eat. What? What the heck, dude? Hey, get off my bed! What the heck is wrong with you? Did your parents ever teach you any manners? Let's carve this guy up. How about a rump roast? Mmm, delicious. Good morning, survivors, and welcome back to Vintage Story. Actually, let me check the time. Oh, it's not morning. It's actually 1.30 in the afternoon. So, yeah, we're in the middle of the day, and I just started, just started, decided to record right now. I wasn't about to. I was doing some chores around the house, but uh, I got a message about a temporal storm approaching. A light temporal storm is approaching. I don't know what that means. I mean, I know a temporal storm is bad. Hey, what? What do you know? Who said that? I heard that. Who said that? <laughs> the raccoon must know something. Spit it out, pal. Don't make me squeeze it out of you. Okay, well, the, the, apparently the raccoon knows what's going on. I have no idea. I do know this much. It's bad. Um, it happens once in a while, and you need to be prepared for it because a bunch of drifters will attack. Um, and they invade your 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 space. So let's get prepared for that. We need windows. We need some glass to make windows. I actually have a nice little hole here <laughs> that goes all the way up to the sky because I want a sunroof. So yeah, I did finish a roof up there. Uh, let me show you real quick here. Yeah, right here. Don't watch out for the hole. Uh, we have a sunroof, so that lets all the sunlight in. It's, it's, oh. oh, ow. Oh, that's a long way down. <laughs> um, and it's nice and bright. If you block this off, it gets really dark in here. All right. Anyway, let's go. we got to go mining. Let me grab my spear and my sword and then swap them. Um, and what else do we need? We're going to need a bronze pickaxe, a tin bronze pickaxe. We have this pickaxe for the other stuffery. Uh, yeah, we want to go get some quartz because we actually don't have quartz. We need quartz to make glass. We do have a little bit. 13 that's not going to be enough and then the clear quartz we can use sticks to make quartz uh, glass with clear quartz but those are pretty rare to find i think anyway let's go check it out we got a mine over here we found or at least some on the surface and we might be able to find some underneath if we dig around i got my shovel got my shovel all right let's get to the mine and then we get prepared for this uh this temporal storm i have a feeling it could roll in at any time and we need to be we want to be indoors at the very least <laughs> again i don't know what to expect but i hear they're pretty bad oh look the resin's up yay so how do we get this again pull not punch right pull it don't punch it okay i pulled it right there resin fantastic um where is our quartz there should be some quartz right around here somewhere oh there it is okay so right here let's see what we got quartz chunk okay well that's too bad let's dig right here and see if we can get to our quartz could be down relatively far through the basalt um there's only one way to find out and that is to dig straight down we should probably make some ladders how do you make ladders whoop what am i doing there we go easy peasy it's just a bunch of sticks so let's do that let's make six ladders very nice huh because uh, we're going to dig straight down until we run into the quartz. Quartz does actually grow, or generate, I should say, <laughs> in um, in hillsides, too. So sometimes you can see it right in the hills, in the sides of hills. And I know there is some around, but I haven't, I don't remember where it was. Oh, there it is. Yay. All right, let's put a ladder. Can I put a ladder underneath me? Wow, I'm going down. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm fine. All good here. So there it is. There is the quartz. And now these these um, veins or veins are usually spread out in like a disc shape. So once you find it, you want to go off to the sides and look around. Now we might be able to find silver and gold in quartz. Apparently that is where you find it in the world. It's generated inside of the uh, quartz veins. Sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't, but it's worth looking. But I don't think we have a whole lot of time for this. We want to get back to the shelter and be ready for this temporal storm. It's going to be a light one, but I don't know what that means. Let's uh, whip out the old tin bronze pickaxe and see if we can get some clear. If we get the clear, we can make glass with sticks, right? Like I said. Um, however, if we just get the quartz chunks, we're going to have to smelt that down in a bloomery. 
And that is going to be something we're going to do pretty soon, is get that bloomery going and make um, iron. But if we get lucky and just get the clear stuff... Oh, there we go. There we go. I think it takes two pieces of clear. Yeah, two clear quartz and the sticks to make one um, block of glass. And that can be cut down with a handsaw into slabs. So we want to at least cover up our um, sunroof. At least the second floor part of the sunroof with glass, if we can. Gl glass slabs. So let me see if we can find some. I'll be right back. Oh, there's two. Yay! <laughs> Alright, guys. It's now getting late. So I think we're going to head back here in a second. Oh, oh, oh. There's eight. Eight. We got eight clear quartz. If we can get one more and add the one back at home, according to my calculations, will give us... Beep, 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 ten. <laughs> Let's try to get ten. Come on, baby. Yeah, it's super rare to get the clear... But I think it'll be worth it. And then we don't have to go through the whole smelting nonsense, which could take some time. Because we still have to make the bloomery. Uh, we got to make the clay to make the bloomery. Then we got to smelt the, the quartz in the bloomery, which, take, which takes like 10 hours, I think, in game time. Um, and I don't think we're going to have the time for that. I don't know when this storm is coming, but I can feel it. My hackles are rising. Come on, baby. One more. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Eh, uh, hole. Where's the hole at? There we go. Gonna need some more ladders. Oh, no, we don't. Okay, there we go. Let's boogie. Right the heck out of here. Oh, we go. I don't know what time it is, but I think it's gonna start getting late soon. Oh, it's still pretty early. It's only 6 o'clock. But like I said, that temporal storm could happen any time. Is there more resin over here? Whoa! I'm falling the hole. There's a pink star around here. Where's our resin? There's a little pink star. Is that it down there? I don't know. Can't find it. It's it's too bushy in there. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I don't know where that resin is. It's not a big deal. Let's get home and get prepared for the temporal storm. Whatever the heck that is. I don't know. We're going to find out. It's starting to get dark. There's old cozy cottage built into the hill. Just have to put some walls in, of course. I'm going to put windows on the side. And that's the whole reason we need this glass. All right, in we go. Close the gates. All the gates are closed. We're going to have to bring Freddy in here, too. I don't want Fred to get uh, eaten uh, by the drifters. All right, let's grab our clear quartz. There we go. And let's get rid of this stone. So much stone, I don't need it. Um, oh, guys, up here. Up here. Oh, gosh. All right, whatever. That's fine. Okay, now let's, um, yeah, let's make our glass. So it's just the clear quartz here and sticks all around. The side. Whoa. Uh -oh. A light temporal storm is imminent. Oh, gosh. Imminent. I don't like that word. That means, like, it's here. <laughs> so there we go. All the glass. Five glass. And now we grab our saw. I'm getting hungry here, too. Where's our saw? There's our saw. Put the saw in here, and then you cut it up. How do we cut it up? Somebody? There we go. Okay. So we're going to get... Um, should we save some of this glass for the windows? Let's just cut all of it for now. And let's fill in the hole. Um, actually, before we do that, let's make this the horizontal only kind so we don't screw this up. Because I don't know if you get these back if you put them in wrongly. And there we go. The hole has been covered. <gasps> oh, gosh. Things are getting weird. Uh, You hear that? Oh, I don't like that. I don't think we have enough. We don't have enough. We don't have enough. We're missing two. All right, let's get down here. Oh, gosh. Um, let's fill in all the holes with some dirt here real quick. Oh, did somebody just open my door? That was me. <laughs> I hope these guys can't open doors. I don't think they can. We should probably cover the windows, too. Oh, my. Yeah, they're little things. These little drifters, I'm not sure if they can squeeze in. Wow, there's one there now. Get this thing. Planter. All right. Put this here. And we got to get Fred. Poor Freddy. No Fred left behind. Oh, oh, back off. Oh, they're so weird. They're so weird. Freddy, come. Okay, stay. <sighs> We're all good. Wait, what? He wants his cow parsley? Oh, no. Okay, fine. Tell you what. Let's, <laughs> let's grab his parsley. Come on, parsley. Yes, this is like his, uh, his safety blanket. Oh, look at that. That's actually pretty cool. All right, buddy. Here you go. Come here. Let me put you in there. 
Bloop. Aw, look at you. I like that, actually. Nice and safe. In his little safe space in the corner. I should probably get my, my armor on, too, huh? Now, those things are, like, flashing. Did you see them flashing? That looked really weird. Yeah, let's, uh, let's eat some bread. I'm getting super hungry here. We're gonna have to go down in the basement. Whoa! What is that effect? That's making me, making me dizzy. I'm not really a big fan of that. <laughs> I'm gonna get nauseous and throw up all over myself. Alright, I think... I don't think they can open doors. Oh! Good, yeah, you can eat the raccoon. I don't care about the raccoon. We're swimming in my irrigation trenches. Let's go down here and grab a quick bite to eat. What What the heck, dude? There's a guy down here in my basement. Ah, what? How do you get down in the basement? I think they're phasing in and out. See how they're like flashing? They're, like, they're corporeal or ethereal or corporeal ethereally or something. Oh, look at them out there. <laughs> you can see them through our, uh, through our sunroof or sun floor, I guess. Technically is what this is. All right, well, uh, how did this guy get in here? Whoa, what was that beep? Did you hear that? Hey, get out of here. It's my basement. I think I missed. All right, we can kill him. Ow, oh, you little. Oh, I don't think I'm hitting him with the spear. I'm hitting the wall instead. It's a deep drifter, they're tough. Oh. Dang it, he's got that corner. Hey! How the heck is he getting us through the corner like that? I don't like that. Alright, well, let's heal up. We can just leave him alone. I'm trying to get a meal, though. All well, my food's down here. Kill him? Oh, we got him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, was a, that was a rough spot. Let's check the body out. What you got? Okay, that's not great. A little flax. What are the beeping sounds? Is that... The game? I don't know. Let's eat. Ball with meal, red meat, and uh, currants or cranberries or something. Okay. Yeah, everything's kind of freaking out here. Have you noticed? I'm not sure I'm too crazy about that effect. Let's go back up. I'm going to put a torch in my hand. It's a little brighter. I think the doors are making that weird noise. Must be something with the storm. How we doing, Freddy? Freddy's looking good. Don't worry, pal. I got you covered. I'll keep you safe, my friend. Um, where's the rest of my bandages? I got some more bandages around here somewhere. I don't remember where I put them. In here? Oh, these are good bandages. Horsetail, poultice from linen, plus four HP. Yeah... Hold on, I can just make more. Uh, how do we do this again? There we go. Yeah. Keep a full stack of those handy. How's our armor? Yeah, not looking great. Although we're gonna make um, we're gonna make some copper armor armor pretty soon. I have um, I do have a few lamellae copper plates. So I want to make that armor copper armor pretty soon. All right, here's what we're gonna do while these guys are out there beeping and stuff. Let's um, <laughs> let's make a bloomery. Let's grab our clay, which is right here. You need fire clay for this, by the way. Regular clay does not work. You have to have the fire clay. Um, and we need to make fire bricks. So let's see how do we make a fire brick. All right, that's easy peasy. And I think we're gonna need. Oh gosh, I need to look at the recipe here. Hold on. Let's check out the bloomery. We got the base, and that is eight bricks. Oh, look at Temporal Storm seems to be waning. Thank goodness. Yeah, I don't like that whole shifty camera thing. Um, all right, so eight fire bricks for that base, and the chimney is four. So according to my calculations, that is 12. And how many did I make? I made seven. All right, we need a few more. There we go. All right, so now what we need to do is get these guys cooking up. And I think we need to get this pretty hot. Yeah, 850 degrees Celsius, so we're going to need Pete for this. Come on, Pete. And a torch. Light it up. Well, that effect, I really don't like it. It's going to make me sick. 
I wonder if he can disable that. That would be nice. Oh, I think it's gone. The music is gone or whatever the heck that crazy noise was. Oh, wait a second. It's still nighttime. But, oh. I think the, um, all the drifters are still here. Oh, and they didn't eat the raccoon. I told you guys, eat the raccoon, please. <laughs> Free eats. Free raccoon buffet. Raccoon and bunny buffet. And how about all the dudes up above us? Um, I don't know. We'll go check it out. We're going to have to clear them out, apparently, if they don't die off on their own. We're going to have to do it ourselves. All right. So we got the peat in there. We got the bricks. And these things take a long time to heat up. 850 degrees each. And we need, uh, we need 12 of them. All right. Well, that's going to take a while. Let's put that fire clay back. Get organized here. And let's go track down. Let's go track down these last few drifters. I hear them out there. What? What's the matter? You don't like the drifters in your trench? You think you own the trench, buddy? Hiding behind the bunny rabbit, using the bunny as a shield. <laughs> Let's check the trench. It sounds like there's a whole bunch of them. Oh, he's still doing his uh, his shifty thing, isn't he? It's a deep drifter. They're pretty rough. I think I'm going to stab him with some obsidian tools. Got a couple of obsidian spears here. Chuck them at them. Whoops. Give me that back. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right. Let's go do it. Um, actually, let's clear the second floor first. Gotta open this up. See what falls down. Hello? Anybody up there? Come on down. I'm coming up. Okay, whoa! <laughs> okay, then. There's quite a few up here. Oh, yes. There are indeed. I wonder if they disappear in the sun. Whoa! I don't know if they disappear in the sun. All right, come on down here, buddy. You know, I can defend this place with lethal force, you know. Hey, get off my bed. What the heck is wrong with you? Did your parents ever teach you any manners? Is he dead? No, he's taking a break. Surface dwellers. These guys aren't too tough. Should be able to kill them. <clears throat> hey. Stop it. Stop it. Fred. Fred, a little help. All right, that's good. I don't want my armor to get destroyed. Off the bed, buddy. How many times do I have to tell you? <laughs> they take a few hits. I'm going to have to make... Um, we're going to have to make tin bronze weapons. Because copper weapons just don't seem to cut it. He's in my pool. You like my little pool right here? It's going to be like a little hot tub or something. Got stairs leading down. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure what it's going to be, but it's going to be... It'll be something someday. Ah! Oh! Snuck up behind me! You little... Where the heck did he come from? I wonder if they're still, they're still spawning in or something. Maybe. <laughs> Alright. Now, let's carve them up. See what they got. I think sometimes they have flax. That's about it. I haven't seen anything else on them. Oh, yep, flax. Eh? Alright. So, I think that's... That's it. Just two more glass slabs. We can finish our our uh, sunroof. Nothing on that guy. And how about you, buddy? They look like little statues when they die. Oh, the raccoon's still alive? Come on, guys. Aren't you hungry? Maybe they only like man flesh. Oh, there's one right there. Deep Drifter, too. I'm going to wait to see if he just despawns or burns up in the sun. Before I waste my energy and tools on them. Wow, there's quite a few of them in here. Another deep. Another deep. Maybe the deep drifters all do that shimmering thing. Maybe it has nothing to do with the temporal storm. I'm not really sure. I need to look into that. How you doing, Fred? We made it. <laughs> You're looking good. I actually like Fred in the house. In his cow parsley planter. It's kind of cool having him in here. <laughs> what do you think? You want to stay inside? I guess we can move him inside and out, right? I mean, he's got to get some fresh air once in a while. He doesn't need to stay all cooped up in the house all the time. All right, I think what I'm... Oh, he's dead. Okay. I thought he was praying or something over there. Oh, gosh. Need more peat. 
Get over here. Need more peat. Get in there. All right, so we have seven bricks. We need one more to make the bottom of the uh, bloomery, and then we can check that thing out. Let's carve this guy up. How about a rump roast? Mmm, delicious. <laughs> I love how they just explode into a bunch of particles. That's so cool. The particle effects in this game are really quite good. All right, can we swap those two? I'm gonna put the torches away now. Okay, let's uh, let's just wait for our bricks here to finish up. Then we'll make the bloomery. And we'll see what that's all about. In the meantime, we're just going to wait for the sun to come up. On second thought, let's go kill these drifters right now. I'm pretty sure they do not despawn, so we might as well just take them out while we have the opportunity. And I think what we'll do is get to the bloomery in the next episode. So we can do one whole cohesive uh, episode on bloomery. Whoa, I almost fell in <laughs> I'm gonna get my ladders ready just in case. Jump! There you go. Um, yeah, let's save the bloomery for the next episode. We'll mess around with that. Holy cow, there's a bunch of them in here. I don't want to kill my bunnies. Actually, I don't mind killing the bunnies. They do give some nice, delicious food. Ooh, can I get that back, please? Oh, dang it. Hey, buddy, can you grab me that spear, please? Eh? I guess that's a no. Uh, I wonder if they can climb out if I put a ladder somewhere. I would like to have, like, a... maybe a tunnel... Whoa, gosh! Ah! Help! <laughs> oh, no! Uh, I, I was saying, before I fell into my hole, I don't have a, uh, an axe. Um, it doesn't look like they know how to get out anyway. No, they're not too bright, are they? Oh, 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 oh! Bunnies! Don't, don't you even try! Oh, the bunnies are blocking them. Good job, bunnies! <laughs> Did I even get my spear? No, I never got the spear either. <laughs> All right, we'll just stab him with the spear from up here. It's easy peasy. Um, yeah, I wanted to make a tunnel, like a secret tunnel leading from our basement into the trench and have a door or a hatch or something so that we can um, we can get in here and slaughter the little things that fall in here and then go back in the house with impunity, you know what I mean? Oh, oh, he's, just oh he's not dead. Okay, he was just leaning over. <laughs> Checking out his friend. Right, I think he's dead. Let's go get our spear and let's carve him up. Like Thanksgiving turkeys. Although I don't think I'd want to eat these things. Excuse me, fellers. Come on, out of the way. I don't want to carve you guys up yet. Oh, what is that? <gasps> a temporal gear. Shivering yet somehow sturdy can be shattered to create a returning point. Right. Ooh, ooh, ooh that's real good. You know what that's for, don't you? No, you probably don't. And I don't really e either. Um, but I know it has something to do with special um, teleporters. We can find teleporters around and we can enable them or, or um, activate them with these temporal gears. I guess that's all of them. Doesn't look like the bunnies know how to use the ladders. So I'll just leave the ladder there. Oh, Raccoon says he knows how to use ladders. <laughs> Oh, I doubt it. We'll test that theory another time. But I think the house is cleared. Yep. Looks like we're safe. I'm going to finish all this up off camera. I'm going to have to get some glass. Like I said, we'll do that in the next episode. Finish off this glass here. So why don't we call it quits for the time being. I'm going to hang up my spears right now. All right, let's 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 bring Freddy Boy back out. You're good, Fred. Go play in your cow parsley. <laughs> Get some fresh air after that uh, terrifying temporal storm. I love that. Found that planter in a ruin. All right, let's check the bricks. They are all done. Um, yeah, so let's um, let's make our bloomery in the next episode. I know some people are going to be upset with that decision, but that's the way it is, my friends. We're out of time, and this was a pretty solid, pretty full episode. And we'll look into these temporal gears and go find a teleporter and try to fix it. That'll be a whole lot of fun. All right. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. I'm going to get rid of that dirt out of my windows. Open it back up again. Let some sunshine in because here it comes. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Right through the skylight. It's awesome. All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Oh, my torches are out.